Hello, hey my good friends, it's Roger, discoverer of mud fossils and everything else in the universe that we have been told is wrong. So, in addition to the giant fish and the giant dragon on Google Earth, which you have and you can easily come in and see that this is true. Now, in addition to these discoveries, Mud Fossil University has also discovered that light is literally dark matter and dark energy as it transits the sun to come to the earth and every other thing in particle physics is wrong if i could do that in under 10 minutes would you be impressed if so be prepared to be impressed traditional electron theory and nuclear theory is that there's protons neutrons and a bunch of little negative electrons surrounding it that's totally wrong the nucleus is completely comprised of electrons. However, electrons are dipoles. They are not totally negative. The negative is the explosive part, and it also has a positive part, which is the weak, unexplosive part. The, at rest, they sit just like this. Photons have two, have, well, actually have four, I believe, electrons together as a photon, it's four electrons, and when they concuss, the white part explodes. Now, I came to this this morning, somebody put up here, did you know that light is not the fastest, and then they go on to explain about, I don't know really what they're going to explain, but I decided I would throw this up there. This is quantum physics news. Dark matter lights up. All dark matter is, is it's the electric electrons that are flowing from the sun towards the earth and from every luminous body in the vacuum, which is not a vacuum. It's a totally saturated with those particles. It's ether. Now, I show in these experiments that Rod Warren designed a Venturi. And what it does is it accelerates pulse red laser you can see it accelerate you can see the particle you can see the Cheryankov radiation you can see the interference patterns you can see the Higgs fields you can see the actual photons you can see the particle spin to the right drift to the left open here ex compressed here means it's slowing down and we found a new particle which appears to be antimatter that is what a photon of light is and that is the actual particle and this is the zone that it controls the magnetic zone these are pulses of these particles and they concuss and cause the other free electrons that are in the atmosphere which are primarily attached to water molecules They're, they are also ether and they are more packed here in space they are free to float around and they don't really do any concussions. Now, that's a pulse red laser unobstructed by anything other than the particles in front of it. This is that same pulse red laser now accelerating, being, having the particle literally sucked right out of the wave of the ball and concussing with its other neighbors in front of it, trying to squeeze themselves through a venturi, creating fermion white radiation and the bosons drift to the side, I'll show you in a second. These are the interference patterns. This is a single slit. Interference patterns are not waves flapping over the other waves. They are particles opposing other particles because their nature is to oppose each other because they are the electrons. That's the explosive part. This shows light is a spinning particle. These are the interference patterns and the reason they are there is because each electron tries to push the electrons for both sides of itself so they end up setting up patterns like this. You can see this is just exactly like a drill bit. It's screwing itself through that venturi. Pay extremely close attention. The light is coming in. As it starts to compress itself, the photons start to appear. And then they start to glow brighter and brighter. And then they turn into the Cheryankov radiation, which is the particles lose their association to each other. 
Okay, the unaccelerated particles, there is no definition to them at all. And once they started to accelerate, you saw they turned into the box of electrons. Then they started to compress. Then the black ball, the little black dots, move away from the fermion white dot. And the white dot explodes because it's the strong nuclear force. The black dot is the boson, which is the carrier weak force and then somehow it reassociates after the Venturi event has occurred which charge separates. These are Higgs fields but not only that they are also electron neutrino showers and not only that that particle which came from the same red laser source spun backwards and turned into a gathering field. I would assume they would call that an antiparticle because it, it consumed its, its field and then whatever happened here happened and the nature of the particle is, is changing, whatever, whatever that represents, I don't know. Alright, this is what CERN is looking through, a bunch of debris from two enormously gigantic mountainous particles smashing together. We are sending from a red laser, this simple little red laser, through a venturi, which is two steel drums, forcing the particle to concuss, exploding out the other side as the Cheryankov radiation, taking pictures with the selfie part of a cell phone. <laughs> Rod has the details on this. He was the discoverer of this process. That's all we used and we started with the particles that CERN is digging through all this debris to try to find. We started with the tiniest particles and they ended up displaying bosons, fermions, and all of the tiniest particles. This is an accelerated electron crashing into stagnant airspace creating these electron showers which they call electron neutrinos all from Cheryankov radiation. Now that's the whiteboard I need to update it's been a couple of years and a couple of things have changed and also by the way everything that's in space between the the Sun and the everything else is ether which is dark matter and dark energy it is literally light. By the way, this pretty much replaces a whiteboard. <laughs> Everything is made out of electrons. Case is now closed. So much more is wrong that it would take forever, but this is just a quick introduction to the most basic of everything that you have thought is wrong. So, I hope you're impressed.